Oriental Medicine in Korea. Ancient techniques of Oriental Medicine still contribute to human health and resuscitation in Korea. Plant, animal and mineral products collected from the hills, fields and the sea are used as medication, but the roots of herbs and the barks of tree provide the grace's source of the materials used in oriental medicine. Paper bags containing such items, hung from the ceiling for drying, are a feature of the oriental pharmacy in Korea. doctor believes in rendering not only medicinal service but benevolent healing art to patients. In examining a patient he observes the complexion, listens to the breathing and feels the pulse of the patient. In the pulse examination he can detect 99 different types of pulse according to speed, steadiness and strength and combinations of these. A herb doctor determines by examination where the sickness lies, on the surface or within the body. Oriental medicine was systematized about 500 years ago when King Sejong compiled a pharmacopoeia. In the second half of the 15th century, another even more famous compilation was edited by half a dozen famous doctors, including Ho Jun. In 1894, a famous Korean doctor named Yi J. Ma instituted the so-called Four Elements Medicine, which placed importance on the physical constitution. He classified it into four types. The prescription for oriental medicine is prepared by dividing the herbs into four groups consisting of the main group, the next one supporting it, the third one supporting the second, and so on. This principle is said to have been derived from the theory of natural organic harmony. oriental medicines are generally mild and beneficent, they can be powerful poisons. Medicinal properties differ according to whether a material is used raw or baked, with or without skin, and which portion is used, upper, middle or lower, and when the material was collected. Prescription is made out taking the synergical and conflicting effects of each material into consideration. It seems that ancient Koreans were extremely observant of natural phenomena and discovered the use of herbs, nuts, and other materials as medicine, constantly accumulating knowledge based on experience. Koreans began to use wild ginseng, the panacea root grown in hills and deep valleys.
They believed that only through revelation or dreams the mountain god could lead them to the discovery of such a rare cure-all. So they observed rites dedicated to the mountain god before they went out collecting ginseng. It is said that Emperor Shi Huang Ti of China sent men to Korea to get Korean wild ginseng for him in the 3rd century BC. Koreans have long followed the natural law of harmony in their daily living. In days gone by, they ate rice grown under the summer heat during winter time and barley grown under freezing cold of winter during summer. They put buckwheat husks into adult pillows in summer and hulled millet into children's pillows for softer texture. Buckwheat, regarded as having a cold property, absorbs heat in summer and hulled millet is said to aid in shaping the heads of children. In old Korean village schools, the master instructed his pupils to rock their bodies forward and backwards and from side to side while reading to help free themselves from monotony and fatigue. Meanwhile, the master rubs the sole of his foot with his hand while teaching, a secret of longevity. The cold property of bamboo helps to eliminate skin diseases in summer. A pair of muffs a pillow and underwear made of bamboo and a bamboo woman, so called because a Korean man would have it in his bed while sleeping, were used in hot summers in Korea in the old days. Oriental medicine is usually heated with water for quite some time before it is taken, but the kind of water used determines its efficacy. For certain types of medicine, a doctor would specify even the kind of water, still or flowing, or even the speed of flowing water. There are various heating methods, long or short heating, over a strong or low fire. Acupuncture is another healing art of oriental medicine, which works well with certain types of patient. Acupuncture, accompanied by the use of oriental drugs, brings about remarkable effects in many patients. It is not uncommon for a patient with a sprained hip to walk about freely after a single treatment by an acupuncturist. Acupuncture is also very effective in meningitis, peritonitis, acute gastroenteritis and appendicitis. The medicine is slowly boiled for about an hour in most cases, and the squeezed out liquid is taken an hour after eating. According to the type of medicine, one drinks it hot or cold, and in a gulp or very slowly. Such practices are born from the principle of yin and yang. It is often said that a trinity of sincerity is needed to ensure greatest efficacy, sincerity of the doctor, the patient, and the person nursing him.
mental medicine contains elements of mystery beyond the understanding of rational thought or empirical science. Oriental medicine in Korea has been placed on the path of steady development down through the centuries. There are colleges of oriental medicine and postgraduate courses which not only educate and train students, but conduct research projects aided by modern laboratory facilities. Some universities have hospitals for oriental medicine. Oriental medicine provides an integrated treatment for the whole body rather than topical remedies or offers etiological treatment. Treatment of hemorrhoids or ozena, for example, is not limited to the affected parts but also includes other parts such as the lung which are considered the cause. It aims to prevent the relapse of a disease by treating its root. In many Korean homes, children take restoratives once in a while to help acquire invigorating strength for growth and to help prevent disease. One can easily see cultivated ginseng fields in the Korean countryside. The people have been cultivating ginseng with seeds collected from wild ginseng for many centuries. Various materials for medicinal stuff are also grown across the country in selected sites with ideal natural conditions. Medicinal items collected or grown on farms are gathered by the herb shops, which in turn sell them to dispensaries for oriental medicine in all parts of the country. Oriental medicine upheld by the interacting principles of yin and yan is a crystallization of oriental wisdom and sincerity. Comfortably coexisting with Western medicine, oriental medicine is providing relief and comfort to many modern Koreans.